Hello there, Darren Page from Headsets for Business. Uh, today I'd like to show you just how easy it is to connect the new Plantronic CS540 uh, wireless headset with uh, any desktop phone. Um, and like any wireless headset, the very first thing that I always say to, to our customers um, is please charge the headset battery up first. Um, Plantronics say a minimum of 20 minutes but a top of 3 hours so you know do it overnight if you have to uh, rather than doing it for just 20 minutes because um, it, you know the battery will go down. So let's have a look at the um, the actual base first of all. Um, I hope you can see this okay. <clears throat> On the back here we have the very first one button here which is on red at the moment, there's red and green, hope you can see that. Uh, the green is for wideband uh, sound, if, you, if you're not familiar with wideband and, and, and you're not aware whether you've got it, you may need to speak to your IT department, uh, but failing that, as a default, put it onto red and you, you won't go far wrong. Okay, the next one is the mains button, uh, sorry, the mains jack, which I'll show you, I'll plug that in in a minute. The third one here is for the EHS leads. For those of you who've got electronic hook switch, which is what EHS stands for, um, that's where you would plug your EHS lead into, or the HL10 lifter, uh, which basically lifts the receiver up and down. So there are two choices there. They're all for remote answering while you're away from your desk. And last but not least, that is if you're using the uh, an auto answer uh, mechanism either a lifter or a EHS lead um, you would basically have that you plug those into there and then you put that on green to say yes you are using that just so the headset knows in this case I'm not going to use a lifter or an EHS lead for the purpose of this so we're going to put that on red so that's how it comes factory settings are red and red just check if they're not then at least you can put them put them back to where they are. Okay, so back on the desk. Um, I have charged this. Okay, so on the back, mains button. Okay, mains button goes in. The good thing is there's only there's only two leads. The mains lead, which you've just seen me put in, and this lead, which is the, the main adapter lead, which connects the phone to the headset. So, on the back, of the charger and base unit, place there's only there's only one place this can go, so you can't go wrong. That goes in there. Okay, just leave that there like that. Then, on the side of your phone, where your receiver is, where it's plugged into on the curly cord, undo that. Okay, let go of that, and plug this end into the same jack okay and consequently the curly cord end that you've plugged out goes um, sorry it doesn't go in there <laughs> beg your pardon it goes on this little box here it actually shows the receiver and the curly cord icon there I don't know if you can see it I'll just bring that a bit closer if I can you can see that or not there's a little icon on there so you can't go wrong even though I just did <laughs> so that goes in there okay and that is it that is how simple it is to connect um, the wireless headset a couple of other things uh, to be aware of before we get into the uh, the ins and outs of how you use this this wireless headset underneath there are three dials okay we'll bring that close to the camera there the first one is the compatibility setting for your type of phone. Now it's set on A, which probably for around 70% of phones would be more than sufficient. If you don't get a dial tone, or you get distorted speech, or it just doesn't sound right, um, you can basically keep pressing from A to G until you get a clear dial tone. Okay? On the left hand side, and they're clearly marked, although I don't know if it's going to pick these up, there you go, that might be a little bit better. On the top one here is speaker volume and the second one, which is probably more important, that's the microphone volume. If you ever get people who say they can't hear you and yet you can hear them, it's that dial that needs to be increased. Okay. 
of, and as a rule of thumb, always before you set up a wireless headset, always if you have a volume uh, button on your phone, put it about halfway. Okay, don't whack it up. A lot of people just whack them straight up to full volume for some strange reason, and then when you add that volume to it, you get distortion. Okay, so we're connected from the wand on the curly cord and plugged it into there. It's clearly marked, and the mains leads. Uh, sorry, the connection leads gone into the back of the back of the uh, charger. Um, <clears throat> now, Plantronics. Um, are trying to get more and more remote answering into their into their headsets. So there are two two remote ways of answering a call. Um, none of which I have set up here. The first one is the HS nineteen ten lifter, which is a lifter that essentially, if you may be familiar with them, but if you're not, it's basically a little device that sits under here like where my fingers are now and when a call comes through you'll hear a beep beep you press the answer release button on the side there and it just lifts the receiver like that when you finished it it puts it back down again I'll show you that in another video um, if you've got one of the new IP phones that has EHS firmware built into it the technology is, is the, f the phone is clever enough to know that, that via um, an optional EHS lead which we, do, which we, can, um, we can provide for all major brands of telephone uh, that goes in, if you remember at the beginning I showed you the, uh, the EHS lead or the, HS, sorry, the HL10 lifter lead at the back so you can use that if your phone does have H EHS capabilities again if you don't know or the whole thing's confusing, please just give us a ring, we'll find out the brand, uh, the make and model of your telephone and we'll tell you straight away what your choices are, whether it's an EHS lead, which is a simple lead, again, that connects on the back, or indeed the uh, E8, sorry, the HL10 lifter, which manually lifts the receiver. So, in this case, um, the simplest way of answering a call is you, you let's just work work on the principle you have you've got your uh, your headset on um, if you click on the button there as you can see the green button that means it's receiving okay that's that's live now uh, basically <clears throat> in this particular case the only way you can answer a call is to lift the receiver as soon as you lift that receiver as long as you're wearing the headset it will go straight through to the headset Consequently, when you finish the call, you would just put the receiver back down um, and press the button again to end. Now, that's one way of doing it, and a lot of people uh, are of the opinion that wireless headsets should just be able to press a button and that's the way it goes. It isn't like that unless you've got EHS, as I mentioned before. However, there is another way. This, is a de this has a dedicated headset button. Uh, headset button on the front of the phone, you can see that, and also um, a headset port. If yours, uh, your phone has got a headset port on it, you can undo it there from the, re from the uh, receiver jack and put it into the, he says, into the uh, headset port. That's all I've done different is just take it from one to the other. Now when a call comes in and I'm wearing my headset, okay, I can literally just press my headset button on the phone um, and I'll hear a dial tone. So I can either answer a call that way, if a call's coming in now, just literally that would be flashing, I'd press that and it would come through to the phone. Press it again and it would, it would kill the call or, or disconnect the call. So if you do have a dedicated headset button, like a lot of Avaya and Cisco phones have these days, and Panasonic, then you could try it that way as well, or the HL10 lifter, or EHS if it's compatible. So there are quite a few different ways of doing this, but really it all sounds a lot more complicated than it actually is. So those are, your, those are your many options that are open to you. I hope that's been useful. We're at the end of the phone at all times, so if you, if you get stuck, just, just give us a ring. To be honest, these are so easy to set up. As long as you uh, 
read the instructions. It's only two leads, uh, one for power um, and one to go into the phone. And um, I'm sure you'll be absolutely fine. Great quality headset, one of the best headsets we've ever we've ever tried. Uh, very clear sound. Um, just actually, regards before I go, uh, a couple of other things. Obviously, the the red sorry the silver button on the side um, is the uh, answer button. Okay, it's also the disconnect button as well. On the end, you can see that. Let's just see if I can bring that closer. Uh, on the end here, if you press that in once, just press it in then that mutes the call, which is always useful. Um, if you go up or down, down uh, decreases the volume of the mic and oh, sort of the headset, sorry, and um, obviously if you, if, you, if you go up then it increases the volume. So that, those are your main, your main um, buttons on your headset. Okay, so connect a call, end a call, up for volume up, down for volume down, and to know that it's working you've got an LED light on there to show you that. Okay, if you're ever in any doubt and there's no volume coming through or no noise coming through or no dial tone, just press that button again because sometimes you can accidentally switch it off. Okay, so when you're going out for lunch or you're going making a coffee or whatever you're doing or you're going out for any while, just always put that back in the base station, uh, especially overnight. A lot of people do this and then come back the next day and then uh, realize there's, there's no battery. So please, for what it is, just put it back into its cradle. It will charge and it will give you many hours of good service. Uh, so I hope that's been helpful. My name is Darren Page. This is headsetsforbusiness.co.uk and thanks for watching.